Obstacle avoidance with the Mini 3 Pro. Now they're already talking at the moment. It's just whispers, obviously, that September they're all about a Mini 4 coming out. How true that is, I don't know. Anyway, in tonight's video, I thought I'd show you obstacle avoidance on how it works. Guys, if you don't do it properly, you could have some major issues. So watch it because I've seen quite a few people put it in active track and they go through something like this and it ends up crashing. So obstacle avoidance and active track are two slightly different things because if you don't do the right settings and obstacle avoidance, like I said, you're gonna crash the drone. So shall we get on with the video? So you've got your drone on, you've got your controller on. What you want to do first, guys, is go into your settings, which is the top right-hand corner there. Now, in safety, it would be on brake, but you want to put it on the bypass. So you can see on the diagram, it's going to go round an obstacle. Another thing you've got to think about is if you're flying about with all these trees and you lose signal, it's going to go up straight into a tree. So you've got to go scroll down to the bottom there. And where it says advanced settings, you put it on to hover. You confirm it, you come out of it. Now, remember guys, the next time you use your drone, it's gonna be on those settings. So when you finish this, put it back to the normal settings so you don't have a problem. <laughs> so, the next thing we do is get the drone off the ground. Drone's off the ground. We just need to get that drone up a little bit not too high because we've got a few let's get um okay so scroll let's bring that scroll down a little bit okay put the box around myself we put active track on we put trace on we press go i put on record so let's see what happens Now there's a lot of twigs about, um, so hopefully you recognise those twigs. You can hear it. So you can hear it, it will be bleeping because obviously it's picking up obstacles. If it finds it's, it is a problem, the drone will stop. Now the drone's there at the moment, hasn't gone around the back of me. So I'm going to go off this way and to see how it copes here. There's a couple of twigs hanging down. And also there's a bit of a drop. <laughs> okay. How's it doing? It's, I it seems to have coped that all right. I mean, another thing you've got to think about, guys. Okay, there's some, I can see the twigs are there. It's doing pretty well. It's don't pick a course that you think the, the, the drone's not to go through. It's not, it's not perfect, but it will get, it will go its best. And if you notice, the drone does drop. So it is trying to avoid things. That's what it's called, the obstacle avoidance. And you can see these, these twigs hanging down now. Now I'm gonna try and go up this bit here. Unfortunately, you probably can't see on camera. I just want to see if it's going to do it. It's, it's coming around, it's coming around. Just give it time. It's coming around, there it is. See, it's come, it's, it's found me. Okay. 
I think another thing is when guys are on little scooters and whatever, or on a bicycle, you've got to give the drone a chance to, to pick it up. I mean, I think this is a, a pretty, pretty good test, really. What I'm going to try and do, I'm just going to go for, come forward. Now the drone's side on at the moment. Coming towards the camera there. I'm going to come back around. Hopefully it, the camera is capturing the drone where it drops down. Okay. <laughs> I think... I think the drone cheated a bit then. I think what it done, it, it, it went in front of me. So I'm just going to go back through this bit here. You can see all, you can see this stuff here what I'm touching now. Okay. I want to see how it's it's going around that. It's going around. I'm just going to go back a little bit so it can see me. Come on. You can make it. Come on, babes. It's thinking out. Come on. You can come through. I'll tell you what, I'm going to come up through this way then. Okay. I think sometimes you do have to give it a little bit of a chance. And we just bring it back. I think I've given you an, a, a, a good enough demo there. The drone hasn't stopped. I haven't cr crashed. Now I think of these things, guys, you do have to take it slowly. Take it slowly, you'll get no problems. On a bike or whatever, you can't expect that drone to keep up. Anyway, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna stop that. I'm gonna stop that. Okay. Right, we've done that. We get rid of that. Okay, I'll just bring the drone in. Um, let's bring it in there. Bring that down. We'll have a quick chat. Okay. Just shows you that this little drone is amazing and things it can do. But I think, guys, when you're doing this avoidance, you've got to take your time with it. And another thing is, like I just said, remember to reset your settings, unless you're going to do something else like this again, if you're going to do another avoidance thing. Because what's going to happen if you are lose signal, the drone's not going to return home, it's going to hover. <laughs> so you don't want that. And also, uh, if you're out, especially active tracking, where you're just walking down a street and there's a lamppost there, it, it's going to go round it, obviously, uh, whereas normally it would stop. So just a couple of things to bear in mind as well. Anyway, my thoughts on the... Um, I mean, I love this drone. You can see something's coming up now with the, Phantom, uh, the Mini 4. Uh, because they have, every now and again, Amazon dropped the price on this. You get, you can get some good bargains. The Mini Free guys, if you want, if you want a decent drone, get the Mini Free Pro. Spend a little bit more. Also, um, get the battery, get the combo packs. You've got the free extra back because you do need them. So, <laughs> I'm loving it. I mean, but like I said before, you just gotta take it slowly. I've seen people rush around and they go, oh, it's, got, it's crashed. Just take it easy. Anyway, as I always say, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. End of the day, enjoy flying your drone. And I'll catch you in another video.